Okay, so this exercise called 40 circles, and it's a circle represents harmony and peace and joy and uh, support and resource and energy. So the first we pick any colors, color pencils. I prefer to do this with color pencils. And you can use any size of paper so as well. And we start drawing circles. You may count them, 40 is a sacred number. So this, uh, we call it 40 uh, circles, but it could be more, it could be a little bit less. So it's not really need to be exactly 40. So if you miscount it, it's perfectly okay. And you are you using just, a heavier paper, Anna, or are you using the printer paper again? So no, this is a just color uh, for the drawing paper. So this okay. is, a, it could be very beautiful. So at the end, it may look like this. Okay, so better quality paper. Okay. I prefer, yes. And we just start scanning the, like, uh, it tuned to your paper and see. So you can use with a, uh, hand and start finding like start drawing circles they could be perfect or not perfect and just draw circles big and small and be huge and much smaller and they can go even beyond this uh, paper and just create this different unusual uh, circles and you can try uh, you may notice that some of us prefer to do it clockwise, some prefer counterclockwise. It really does not matter in this exercise, what do you want? Just see what makes you feel comfortable. And we create the circles. So they may, if they are not perfect, you can make them a little bit bolder and create new so you don't have to be exactly perfect and i actually do not count how many circles i created i just create to fill the whole paper like to create enough to create as many as i want and they can be teeny tiny and they crossing each other or be inside of others. So this is like really um, how to fill yourself with so many resources. How many more resources do you need? Like when do you feel it will be enough? So imagine that this each resource is a um, some support, some uh, it's could be a good word, kind word, or maybe some people in your life, or maybe some smile that you're receiving from a cashier in a store. So it should not be like huge, it could be small ones, but there are many of them. And just experience. And you can. I create this uh, going be beyond because I want them to be connected to the edges. So I don't want them just be boiling inside of me. I want everything to be connected to the society. I want, and it gives me the sense that it's uh, support is even bigger. So. And this is a 40 or 40 plus circles. And when you done them, you can connect them even more. You can create some narrow lines that just going from one side to another. Just creating these lines. If it's already overwhelming, don't do line, just start rounding uh, corners. So the rounding is what really makes you, it's like two, two levels of calm uh, meditation. Like first is the drawing. So 
circles. Another is, I will make some noise for you guys. Because my quiet one doesn't work. And we start just rounding those corners. It may take for a while. So that's why uh, different uh, smaller size, like if we really need to release some anxiety right away, we can use it uh, on much smaller size. You may notice that it may, um, you may create new small bubbles in intersection. So this is be interesting. And I like uh, how the la lane, uh, lines really, um, because we use color pencil, they have um, this already enough color to fill this page. Like I usually do not um, color the whole page, but I just stay with this exercise and it's uh, just rounding is enough for me to to find this beauty and you can do it in different colors it's uh, as always we notice how body is reacting any emotion starts show up so this is um Be interesting. And it may take quite long time. And with pencil, you can um, define how sharp you want it to be, so how thick or thin lines you want. So you just Play with them. Okay, so how's your body reacting? Does it feel calmer after it's a whole week is another week is gone. It's already almost June. My May was quite intense. And I know already that June will be at least as much. Which is good. If you decide to color it on top of this uh, lines, of course you can do it. So it's um, maybe not during the class, but you can do it. You can finish it as a whole drawing. So, but even just lines and integration of them is already calming. And the purpose is really to, to calm down, to find this peaceful, harmonious 
solution in it. So for kids, even if they, they just draw circles and they can, uh, you can actually draw circles not um, hollow, you can use, uh, you can draw them like completely. You can start and just feel the whole circle. This uh, motion is helping to calm down. Like in Neurographica, uh, they call uh, circles of admiration. So, and you can use, uh, uh, draw different colors next to each other. So this is, could be good exercise for kids. And they can be overlapping as well. And it seems like simple um, movement, but it's actually, there is so much changing at the same time. So you can change, uh, you change the diameter of circle, you change the speed of the drawing, you may change the pressure of the drawing, and you may actually change the direction. You can uh, do one clock, clockwise, uh, another counterclockwise. So there is uh, uh, many things that you have the power to control, even it seems like very simple solution. So you can try this one. friend of mine said like, you have to create shorter video. People cannot watch three hours video. So the Zoom today helps us to create shorter videos. So thanks to Zoom. And you may learn that sometimes um, you have a different relationship with big circles or with small circles. Uh, I noticed that some of my students hate teeny tiny circles, like the small bubbles can be very distracting and very small for them and very annoying and like really brings a lot of uh, emotions. So pay attention if your relationship with them even, or is it uh, maybe big ones can, um, can be emotional for you. And see, just look at that, uh, at your drawing, and maybe you have some patterns that uh, all balloons are stuck inside of another. Do they easily uh, interact with each other? Or maybe they feel isolated or have a different many layers of protection. So if you draw one small circles in a bigger one and another and another, so it could be some patterns show up. So. Remember, this is a secret language that our subconscious mind is trying to talk to us. And we may decode it or may just accept it as it is. Because just even looking at this is already healing. This is already...
So for next class, I have uh, several options for you. So you, unless you have your own proposals, you can choose um, tomorrow with Russian group. I'm going to do a drawing that called um, eclipses. Uh, I don't know how. Now, uh, I don't know how to translate in English. Uh, corridor of eclipses, like the, uh, the when we start, how to prepare yourself to the astrological changes, because many people feel its power. It's up to you if you want to try this exercise. And I can show you how it may look. So this is my look. So this is my preparation for the eclipse. Actually, this is lower. So if you want, um, or we want to work with our relationship with pets. It could be your pet or any pet, maybe your neighbor pet that you don't like. So this is, um, could be a fun exercise as well. So just, when is the eclipse? First, well, we actually, it, three eclipses are coming. So the first one will be, I think, June 5th. The first one, another uh, June 20th. 20th, 21st, like on very on edge of uh, those days. And July 5th, I believe. So it's. Um, I think since the eclipse is on Friday, mm -hmm. we could do what do the eclipse one on Friday. It just seems. Oh, I did not realize it's on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can do it. It's definitely. It will be That's interesting. That one though, like yeah. sometime. But uh, but let's. I don't know. That's my vote. Eclipse. I like okay. that too. I, mean, I like yeah. the eclipse too. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do eclipse next week. So I don't have any problems with pets, so I'm not sure what I would do with the with the exercise with the pet exercise. Mm -hmm. So, my, uh, but offer something that is important for you. So I know that uh, Catherine is very good at offering <laughs> list. Uh, I'm. You see, you wanted forty circles. Here you are. I know. <laughs> Thank you. So. Uh, create, give me some something to think about. So if you want some particular theme, something unique, maybe. And at one time you talked about um, a, a method for making choices. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's good. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if you could do something about that more in depth. So today, another uh, exercise. So I promised you three of them. So okay. today <laughs> I'll show you one more. So this is, uh, we j that's why we are not going to really color this one, but try to make it simpler. So to, today I'll show you another one that can be used for making priorities. And this, another one is like very simple and I have I learned that some people don't like it because it seems like so simple. But for me, it's really uh, helps to make priorities and just uh, get my thoughts together. So this uh, could be, uh, that's why I decided to do this exercise today as well. So I'll show you just, um, When we finish this one, it's a lot of red I have today. And Why do you suggest only colored pencil to start with? So the colored pencils, um, they give the, um, this beautiful texture for this uh, circles and they give this uh, bold lines and skinny lines. So it's uh, all these different qualities of lines. And you, um, so it gives this character for this each uh, 
circle so and it's softer so i don't know it's, uh, for this one i prefer color pencils you can use markers you can use pen like uh, it's really like if you need to calm down you don't and you don't have color pencils i don't want it to be limiting um, but just for something different try color pencils uh, see how it works or maybe it doesn't work for you so it's an opportunity to learn something new about yourself thank you so so anna i have a i have a few little circles that are not attached to any circle or anything should i be drawing a neurographic line to connect them to the other circles or should i just leave them unconnected it's up to you if you really pay attention to them and they, they uh, it somehow they feel lost bring a line make sure that they are connected to everything else and see maybe uh, uh, the line will lead you to something else it's um so if you paid attention to it i would say yes connect them like many people don't really recognize that like oh this is left so it's somehow you, you noticed it and it makes important for you son Anna. Yes. Mom's here, and as soon as he heard your voice, he came to sit right next to you. So I just need you to know that he's saying hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hello. Mm -hmm. And I can just turn it so I don't have to close. So some people have um, like uh, people who prefer to fight in their life don't feel very comfortable with circles or they or maybe they feel it's too boring but if you have such strong resistance with a uh, harmony uh, it's uh, it may, it's may represent, it's not necessarily like diagnosis, but notice how it's uh, hard for you to stay in a peaceful situation, like how you start uh, finding something that you can not uh, like always looking for action, always looking for drive for maybe even sometimes aggression so it's just an observation like observe something about you and circles uh, also represent cycles so all the, everything is is has its, its own cycle and it's may repeat it you're so like you um, have you noticed that like we really decorations are changing but the theme still be the same it's, um, it's in a relationship it's always like if we don't if we didn't learn the lesson with one relationship it will be carry on to another and another and you already like five times married and it's uh, still be the same situation so so is the, the basic theme of this exercise being in harmony finding harmony yes 
like just uh, find the piece, find this um, uh, resource because resource is always within us and see uh, you can make it more um, well defined like you can name what is a resource or, or what gives you resourceful uh, feeling during the day. Can you name that uh, 40 things big and small like somebody smiled to you, somebody said something nice, you received email you received some present, or maybe you've seen a flower today on your walk. Maybe um, your cat oh, like, touched you somehow gently, or maybe, I don't know, husband kissed you, or good food. So all the small pleasures in your life, you may, uh, identify them and draw a circle for each of them. But sometimes, um, uh, like I, I teach you just how to do the exercise and see uh, that maybe just drawing circles because it's already in our uh, subconscious mind, well-defined that this uh, circle represents something good, some, something safe beautiful and harmonious and see how do you feel when so much harmony you see on your drawing and how do you feel connected to this harmony do you really feel this is yours or maybe you feel uncomfortable so just be with yourself uh, honest with yourself so we don't because it's so much harmony, it doesn't require you to feel good about it. So let's say it this way. I will make some noise, sorry, because my quiet sharpener, it doesn't behave for some reason today. So we just, um, so do you like to use color pencil for these lines or it's, uh, you prefer markers? So just asking. I really like the color pencils and I, I, I think it's complementary to the drawing, like to the relaxation and harmony. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have a soft, um, pencils and it's um yeah, and it, it's interesting if you start uh, uh, like sometimes i do even catharsis with color pencils and when you start coloring uh, the color starts um, bleeding and it could be um, just a different effect so i have another message that we have 10 more minutes so we're kind of under pressure today so it's okay. The Zoom helps me to create shorter videos. <laughs> and I make sure that I update all this um, software. And I believed that I already updated, but maybe they created something new. So. For me, Anna, I only have the um, the computer paper, so I don't have the nice paper. So the colored pencils are a lot better. On these okay. Yeah. Oh. So maybe you find your friend like this is a could be a um, good solution for you. Yeah. And it's uh, really like when we do uh, with pens uh, with pencils. 
you feel the pressure and how it's different and how it could be um, interesting and um, it's just a different relationship <laughs> with your tool, with your lines, with your roundings. So you would just keep rounding and again you have a free will to color it or if you want to leave it just uh, in white and color pencil so this is a great opportunity to just enjoy something really graphical like uh, some graphics that very simple. It looks uh, beautiful in black and white as well. So could be always an option. Do you have an example of, uh, of completed ones you've done? So the um, I've, I'm not sure if I have any color. Or this is uh, just a green circles. Mm. Let's see if I have uh, anything. so many um, notebooks but maybe not in this ones. I don't think it's um, in this one. Or, and I have one class that I really, really, really want to do with you. So I'll show you the outcome. And let's just, let's just show you. So. When you can work with your portrait, like with your picture. Let's see. I just seen it. Okay, so this is uh, my picture, my photo that you can explore yourself and accept yourself as you are and find the beauty and gentleness and maybe new powers in yourself. You can fill you with uh, emotions and the only thing that we need to prepare for, for it, uh, online you can find software that create outline of your picture and it's uh, could be just uh, like a pencil outline you can work with a portrait of somebody that is very important so this is a portrait of my mom that i was working and i have to say like i learned about my mom during this drawing and my relationship is her a lot during this exercise and you can work with uh, teachers with places with kids this is with kids so this is one this you can work with your portraits as well with and maybe with, some of them with places as well so one of those classes will do this one for sure so you see i created the third eye for myself it's actually create was created by itself so it's not like i decided let's draw something you just explore yourself and see what is appearing it's a very interesting and very sacred experience to to draw something on your portrait or on a portrait of uh, somebody important for you that would be great yeah so this will be maybe another one after the eclipse it will be beautiful and i've done several times uh, on my portrait and every time it's a little bit different and i worked with places and i worked with my uh, photo with my husband so we i worked on my relationship oh boy i learned a lot about my relationship from this just exploring and observing how lines are running 
and it's completely changed my perspective of my relationship. So this is could be very interesting. Very oh, healing. That one. Okay. So endless possibilities. <laughs> so, uh, like, it's just the beginning. Okay, so if Zoom, uh, if room is going to uh, be closed, just uh, come in again. So we'll just start, I'll just start another one and, and see. Maybe it's just a scary notice, but nothing happened. So it's happened before. It's already hot outside. The summer is here. As much as I love uh, rounding corners, I'm so happy when I'm done with roundings. <laughs> I like. And see if you choose a colored pencils, like uh, see how do you resonate with the color? How do you feel to see it so much in so much detail, so many details? So just um, notice it. And if you decide to color it, you coloring the same way as everything. You connecting several segments the same uh, the same color. You may color separate circles, or maybe just 